Okay, so number 61 and 9.3 has this stuff, and we should ask ourselves what? Yeah, what do I need to do with the bottoms to make them kind of the same, right? So I need to find a common bottom. Okay, so let's see. This one's already factored out, right? That's a V times a W. That one's not factored yet, so I better factor that one. This one's already factored out, that's a W. This one needs at least a V, right? Because that one's got one. Okay, so first things first, I should factor the bottom of the middle bit. Alright, so I leave the other two alone. Alright, let's, what can I pull out of the bottom? I can factor a V out. So there's a V times a, I think a V minus W. Yeah. Okay, so now I look at this and I think, all right, out of this guy, the common bottom is what? I just need each factor, right? So maybe there's a V and a W. So I better get a V and a W. What is V again? Common bottom. The common denominator, right? Here I've got a V and a V minus W, so I need a V minus W in my common denominator. And here I've got a W, I've already got that in there. Okay, so there's my common bottom. Right? So now I ask, okay, what's this one need? Okay, so I've got over this stuff, right? So I've got V plus W over VW, and I need a V minus W on the bottom. So I multiply by, good, multiply by V minus W over V minus W. Make sure you throw some extra parentheses in here so you keep the top straight. And then let's see, what else have I got? I've got a W over V times V minus W. What does that one need? Yeah, I need a, I've already got the V, right? I've already got the V minus W, that means I need a W. So I need to multiply this guy by, okay, W over W. Then I've got a minus one over W, what does that one need? needs a V, right? So I multiply by V over V. And then it also needs a V minus W. So I multiply by V minus W over V minus W. You guys all see that? Okay. So then I say, all right. Now we should be able to simplify a little bit. Everything is over this VW times V minus W, right? Okay, so all told here, I've got VW over V minus W. Then I just need to write down the tops, right? So the top of the far left is V plus W times V minus W. Now you just got V, right? Yeah. Then I've got plus W times W, and then I've got minus, what's on the top of that last fraction? There's a V, so I've got V times V minus W, and I don't really need the 1, right? Why? Because I'm multiplying it, right? And 1V is the same thing as V. Okay, so when you're adding and subtracting, then you Yeah. If I was adding or subtracting, right, if this was 1 plus V, then I would need to keep it. But because I'm multiplying, 1 times V is the same thing as V, so I can kind of suppress it. All right, so now what do I do? So this was, everything to here was get everything over a common bottom, add all, all of it together. Okay, now that I've got everything added together, what do I do? What do I need? 
Yeah, yeah, I'd like to cancel some stuff, maybe. Okay, so to cancel some stuff, maybe I should, I don't know, distribute it out and see what I've got, right? Okay, so this is all going to be over V W times V minus W. I don't know why I added another set of parentheses in there. You don't really need them. What's up? So I can't, you can't factor out and cancel, yeah. yeah. But I can add together to zero, right? Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, I can't cross them out. And remember, you always set yourself up for a false cancel here, right? Like I'm really, I'm really kind of tempted by this v minus w and this v minus w and that one, right? Why can't I cancel those? Yeah, because I'm adding and subtracting, and there isn't one in the middle term for me to factor out, right? That's very important. It's very easy. Yeah, it's super, super easy to get to fall into this false cancel. But there is a saving grace here. You always set this up. There's always going to be a false cancel here. It's not like sometimes it shows up. There's always one. Just don't fall for it. Right? Just every time you do one of these problems, think, okay, there's going to be a false cancel. I just have to be careful. Right? It's always a try. Okay, let's see. So if I want to do additive canceling, I should multiply this chunk out, right? Okay, so what do I get when I multiply V plus W times V minus W? V squared. Yeah, notice it's a difference of squares, right? So I get V squared minus W squared. Then I've got plus W squared. W squared. Oh, that's convenient. And I've got minus v squared plus, good, vw. Excellent, guys. Okay, so what can I cancel? Yeah, so this is really combined like terms, right? These two guys are zero together, and these two guys are zero together. You guys see that? Sweet. So I'm crossing these guys out, <coughs> right? This is not a, yeah, next step. So this is not a multiply to one cancel, right? This is a add to zero cancel. Okay. Now in my next step, let's see, I crossed everything on the top out except the VW. So I've got VW over VW times V minus W. Now what can I do? Yeah, now I can cancel the other way, right? These are onesies. So there's a onesie and there's a onesie. <laughs> yes. Caitlin is wearing a onesie. <laughs> okay, so I get what's on top? One. And we're over V minus W. And I can't do anything else with that, so I leave it there. I, I have a very good question for you. Okay. Like, what, why do you have to put that one there? Because it makes sense? Because what did I mean? So, when I'm left, right, there's just kind of this V minus W hanging out, right? If the v, v minus W were on the top, that would be V minus W whole things, right? But here what I mean is I mean one thing split amongst a group of V minus W, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, even though I canceled out the whole top, the V minus W still belonged on the bottom. Really, I was saying, right, this. I really could have rewritten this as V over V times W over W times 1 over V minus W, right? See, so I real I'm not quite there. Like, so because you canceled out the top like completely, and there's only one more thing on the bottom, which is the minus w. So by putting the one on top, is it kind of like saying there's only one more thing? It's not necessarily on the top, but there's one thing left. 
How about this? I was dividing by v minus w to begin with, right? So regardless of whatever cancellation happened, I should still be dividing by v minus w. Does that help? Right. So really, this is not a question so much of uh, what's left as what was I doing with that thing to start with. Does that kind of make sense? Other 